In this session, we'll talk about Precise for SQL Server. It is a member of the Precise Application Performance Platform group of products offered by IDERA. The key benefits of Precise is that it offers high resolution visibility into SQL statement execution by sampling at a minimum once per second. And we correlate cause and effect so you always know exactly what happened on your system. Precise tracks all execution states, including locking, wait states, including use of storage. Precise offers alerting, reporting, and dashboards to communicate with other stakeholders within the organization. Precise will automatically identify performance bottlenecks and offer recommendations. There is a long-term history that offers trending. Precise captures the execution plan which connects SQL statements to the tables and indexes. Therefore, we can turn our data upside down and we can say, well, what are the busiest objects on your system? And that's gonna be crucial for knowing about your defragmentation routines. We'll also offer index recommendations and modeling to minimize the risk of a production change and also to make sure that you have the right set of indexes for your system. We'll recognize when indexes are unneeded. Precise tracks at the operating system, including a plugin for VMware. And so Precise can be used for capacity planning, but with Precise, it's not always about more CPU and more memory, it's also about processing efficiency. So let's, let's go right in. This is the Precise um, initial screen, the dashboard. Here we would show um, every instance by availability execution count and you can see that over the past two days we've had 652,403 executions. This is a bar graph segmenting where the time was spent. Now over here we have more details about um, this particular instance and the y-axis represents in MS SQL time and as you can see it's segmented into these execution substates. This is 100% comprehensive. The x-axis is time across the day. It's very easy to just select a time frame or manually update the time frame to include the processing window that you care about. And when you do that, Precise will adjust its findings report to say, well, what are the biggest resource consumers on the system? And we're gonna recognize heavy objects as well as SQL statements including environmental things. So here we have high CPU weight, and I could immediately hot link directly to CPU pressure, but before I do that, let's click learn more. Precise is gonna give me information about what to do next, and it's gonna show me how to alleviate CPU pressure on my system. I wanna draw your attention over here, because this is our complete library of findings and recommendations. And it addresses just about every circumstance that you could encounter within SQL Server. So this can be very helpful for elevating newbie DBAs as well as giving new ideas to seasoned DBAs. Close that out and go directly into a long-term report. Here we're showing processing day by day during March and April. And it's very easy to spot that you know we have a burst, a bursty system. It's very easy to spot particular days when processing is way above the baseline. That's that light blue line. There's a dotted line that represents the exception threshold. Consulting the actual value versus the baseline over the past month, I can see that we're significantly above the baseline. Now please make a mental note of this profile because we're about to drill in and hot link directly from the report to the expert view. This is a distinct advantage of Precise is the alerts, reports, expert view are all correlated together. And that includes dashboards because there's one central historic repository that we're using um, to show the data. Clicking this hot link, I now go in and first of all, I'm able to see additional details. Like on April 25th, I can see that there was locking. Down here, I can see, well, what databases drove this profile? I can select the TPCC database, and now I've isolated just the SQL statements executed by that database, and they're sorted 
in descending order by NMS SQL time. This takes into account the number of executions. This is where Precise stands out for low latency, high throughput applications. That is, you know, kind of, you know, uh, your OLTP applications, your very busy finance, SAP, PeopleSoft applications. Precise is going to give you the true profile and it's going to show you where those SQL statements are spending the time. Dark blue, consulting the key, that shows us it's using CPU. We don't want to just uh, focus on locks and waits because that would actually deny us information about what's happened with particular SQL statements and where there is potential buyback. By minimizing execution time, I minimize the opportunity for contention, locking, et, et cetera. And so this, um, this path to performance helps the DBA take the instance, the database, to the next level. Now you can see that there's a number of tabs along the top here. I want to take a look at objects. This is another distinguishing factor of Precise. We're going to track the database and track changes. We're also going to track the use of space. Down here, I mentioned this earlier, this is where we show active objects. The order line table is probably 10 times busier than any other table in the system. I want to make sure that this table is in a high performance state by making sure that it's included in my maintenance routines to reorg, rebuild, minimize white space. So I make every IO of the blocks and leaf pages as efficient as possible. Now, additionally, I can investigate this order line table and a couple of things here is we're going to track its, its number of rows, its space, but down here I can correlate to the SQL statements that use this order line table. This is critical. In business applications, you're going to start to see commonality in the where clause, the order by, the sort by, because think about it. In a business environment, people want to know and report on, well, what happened last hour? last day, last week, last month, last quarter, last year. And so there, it's going to naturally be commonality in these SQL statements. Now, what you can do is you can use Precise to recommend uh, index or different better indexes. And here it's showing to create four indexes. Precise will actually recommend index drop it, dropping indexes as well. The key is this. This evaluate button applies these changes in this what if recommendation to basically say, well, what would happen if these indexes were applied? And this is our modeling capability. And what it shows is that these SQL statements would be impacted. This top SQL statement had consumed one hour, four minutes. So that's 64 minutes. And I save 98%. The next SQL statement down consumes 27 minutes. I save a third, that's nine minutes. So I've already saving over an hour's worth of processing. And if you, you can c consider that each core runs at millions of instruction per second, this is gonna have a nice ripple effect across the SQL state, uh, SQL Server database, instance, VM, as well as if you have other VMs running on that server, it's going to impact them as well because you're saving resources by improving processing efficiency. And this is where Precise really shines head and toes above any other solution on the marketplace. So just a, as a quick recap, always on 24 by seven. This is not one of those tools where you have to turn on additional visibility. We provide all of the information all of the time, as well as alerting to automate monitoring of your system. Let me know when a problem is developing. We also track the physical server, guest VM, the host, and that gets into capacity and processing efficiency, so you have both sides of the coin. It's comprehensive. Precise allows me to drill down. You saw by database, but I can also go in by login, program, by machine. Precise offers recommendations with, with what if modeling. This minimizes the um, risk that you're gonna make a negative change in a production system. Precise offers um, dashboards and reporting for operational awareness to share information for all stakeholders. If this has intrigued you, please visit IDERA's website, go to the products page, and these are under the Precise solution. So clicking on Precise for Oracle 
will bring you to the Precise Application Performance Platform group of products and click See in Action. And that will bring you to a sign-on screen and we will talk soon. Thank you very much for your interest in Precise for SQL Server. Thank you.